Testimony happening in Lansing today about the world's fastest growing criminal industry, human trafficking. It's shine the light on human trafficking day at our state capitol. And 24-hour news ace Amanda Jarrett is live in studio controlled this morning. Good morning, Amanda. We've seen that this is a real problem all across the globe and here in Michigan. So. What are they going to do about this today? Good morning, Brad. Well, the committee of our Michigan lawmakers expected to hear some powerful testimony from a survivor of human trafficking, a person that shows this problem is very real here at home, as you mentioned. The event is in an effort to raise awareness on an issue, one that's put Michigan number five in the country for human trafficking. Today's event comes just a week after we told you about the conviction of a Grand Rapids man, Eddie Jackson, who targeted girls in eighth, ninth, and tenth grades taking the girls to meet with men for sex. It was the first federal conviction of its kind here in West Michigan. Senator Judy Emmons has been pushing for change in our state. We talked to her last fall as she unveiled new legislation that included 19 different bills cracking down on human trafficking. Emmons is hosting the event at our state capitol today. We want people to understand that Michigan is serious, we mean business, and this is no place to even think about something like this. Those heading to Lansing today asked to wear red and yellow to raise awareness to human trafficking.